With the help of Hashem, we are learning Mayud Kat and Daf Chaf. We are dedicating this class, Le'ilu Nishmas, Sepoida Bas Adia Halevi. May her Neshama have an Aliyah, and our heart goes out to our Chavar Tzvika. May you and your family only have many happy occasions, Amen, going forward. So, Chavra, we left off on Daf Chaf, Amid Aleph. We are eight lines from the top of the Amid. We began the Sugya that questioned whether Shloishim can start prior to Shiva. What was the case? That if there is a passing over Yom Tiv, there it's not that the Yom Tiv will cancel the Shiva because it didn't even start yet. What will, what will happen is, is that the Shiva is going to be delayed. So the person will only start sitting Shiva after Yom Tiv. However, question is, could you already use the days of Yom Tif to start counting down off the Shloishim? To which Rabba, there's a Machlikis in Girsais, we have either Rabba or Rabba, we're going to go with Rabba, responded that Shloishim cannot start before the Shiva. So you begin counting the Shiva right after Yom Tif, Shloishim also will begin right after Yom Tif, and we're going to continue, actually we're going to refute that Opinion. Now, what we will have <clears throat> is we're going to introduce on Dav Chav the opinion ultimately coming from Beis Hillel. Unlike what we learned yesterday in the Mishnah and what we learned yesterday in the Braisa that says that Yom Tiv only inter- cancels Shiva. If you had three day Shiva prior to Yom Tiv, Beis Hillel holds, and so we paskin that even if Shiva only just begun, the burial was mamish out of Yom Tiv, as long as something was done to express the fact that we are in Shiva. It's not just about what you're not doing, it's about something that you are doing, as we'll see. So, the, so then the Shiva began. Shiva began, Regal will also cancel it. We're going to have the big question, Minayin la'avelu Shiva. How do you know that there's Avelos? We're going to have a quote uh, in the Gemara. We're going to, God willing, learn inside Toysvis that quotes the Yerushalmi that we spoke out in the beginning of the Patek. Why, why are we searching to find the Pasik? Ben Negea, Yaakov Avino, the trader writes explicitly that they mourned for him for seven days. Now, truth be told, the mourning that we read about on Parshas Vayichi happened before the burial. But the, the, the Yerushalmi responds that we don't learn from that Avel Shiva because of the big rule of Ein Lemeidim Mikoidim Matan Torah. Even though there are mitzvahs that we link Historically, they are connected to before Matan Torah, just for example, Bris Mila. We even say now by the bracha, Avraham Avinu. But why does a Yid do a Bris? Because God commanded us on Har Sinai that Ubayoyim Hashmini Yimoyl. With the knowledge that this already began, Avraham Avinu, Hashem also gave that commandment to Avraham Avinu. In other words, since the only sources in the Torah is prior to Matan Torah, we also quoted that we have according to Chumash Rashi. That the, that the Mabel began, so to say, seven days after the, I, the, the original date, because Hashem wanted to allow us to mourn the Shiva for Misu Shalach. That's also Ein Lameidim Mikoyde Matan Torah. We're going to introduce the concept of Shmua Kareva versus Shmua Rechoika. Shmua Rechoika means a delayed report. The communication that we have now never existed up until now. So if there's a passing, but the person only found out that there was a passing at a delayed date. We'll see a delayed date means thir- more than 30 days after the passing. So we're going to see how does that person practice the laws, if they practice the laws. And we will actually paskin that they, 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 they practice the laws of Shiva for one day. We will actually see that here we will say, Mixas hayoyim kekuloi. I know we spoke out yesterday or two days ago, the shitas that hold, that you never say mixas hayim kekuli when there was only a one day mitzvah, like for Shabbos. But we will apply this only for mixas hayim, and there isn't shloishim. There's just one moment of mourning versus if a person has a shmua kiraiva, if you have a current report, current report means it's not after 30 days from the passing, so from when the person found out, they count shiva and they count the shloishim. Gavaldik, even though that means that they're going to conclude their Shiva and Shloishim way after other family members that found out earlier, not, not a contradiction. You found out within, it's not called yet Rechoika, you, you keep the proper Shiva and Shloishim. We're going to learn in today's daf, for whom do we mourn? 
we're going to see that there are those relatives that are considered biblical relatives. Now this is connected but not bound with is the dinim of Avelos Midorais or Midrabanan. Even if you're going to say that the dinim of Avelos are purely Midrabanan, but Aninus is Midoraisa. For whom do we have to have mourning? So we're going to learn Midoraisa, seven relatives. And then we're going to have many, many added relatives, Midrabanan. And the final, and then we're going to have the question, there's a concept called mourning for Shniyim. Shniyim means, let's say, let's say that a person um, is mourning for his, uh, is mechoyif to mourn for his uh, mother, mother. But his mother is alive. But his mother's, one of the mother's seven close relatives passed away. Question is, is someone obligated to mourn if one's immediate relatives are mourning because one of their immediate relatives passed away? So either they are going to be midrabanan, mechoyev to mourn, or we will mourn in their presence. And then we will explain why halachically nowadays this is not practiced at all, if we'll have time, we'll begin the topic of Kriya, that Kriya, renting the garments, is something that Dafka needs to be done while standing, and we're going to look for sources for that halacha. Without any further ado, Chavra, Daf Chaf, again, Daf Chaf, Ahmed Aleph, eight lines from the top of the Ahmed, last word in the line, Eisve. The question again, the Rabbah opined that Shloishim cannot start before Shiva, and that we had one Braisa that spoke explicitly about a passing on Yom Tif. That Braisa actually had two cases. The latter case was when the passing was on Yom Tif, and we said that even though the Braisa clearly says that the Yom Tif is counted towards the Shloishim, but that wasn't in the case where the passing was on Yom Tif because the Braisa had two cases. And now Eisve, this will be a Braisa that will refute Shita Rab. It says in a Braisa clearly, Regal oil oil minyan Shloishim, that the Regal, the Yom Tif is counted for the Shloishim. You know, it's even though you're not practicing any laws of mourning, or that we spoke at Amachloikas Rishonim, or most of the laws of mourning of Shiva are not practiced during the Regal, but like we said yesterday, the halachas of Shloishim are practiced by default by every year during the Regal, right? No one takes a haircut during Yantif, that includes Cholamoyed, right? The same thing should be theoretically when it comes to nail cutting. Then we have the dinam of we're not allowed to launder clothing. On Yom Tif, nor can we launder clothing, even on Cholamite. In other words, the main laws of Shloishim, that which we must abstain from, is anyways happening. So the Braiso says it counts down Ketzat, and the Braiso only gives one case. The case is that there was a passing on Yom Tif. Kevoroi betchilas oregel, the burial was on Yom Tif. When it comes to Shiva, as we learned yesterday, Maina Shiva Achar Aregel. Then the immediate family members sit the full seven days after Yom Tif. Oh, it's the shiva's only delayed, but it's not cancelled. However, mitzat sheni, since there are certain laws of, that according to Rashi and according to other Rishonim, they keep over Yom Tif. And as we mentioned, people are also menachem, these avelim, over Yom Tif. So there are certain hetedim that we afford them when they only began the shiva after Yom Tif. One hetid, one leniency is umalachtoi nasis alidei achedim. When it comes to a mourner, if there is no financial loss, even others cannot do work for their behalf. Over here, since really a Yom Tov, they already didn't work, N nor did anyone work for their behalf during Yom Tov. I know it wasn't counted down to Shiva, but since it's already beyond the normal Shiva, so now if the passing was on the first, passing and burial was on the first day of Yom Tov, which means that when Yom Tov ends, they already were seven days after the burial, then during the whole Shiva, other people can do work for them. That's a hetir. But not only can other people do work for them outside their home, but their own avadim and their own Shiv Chaysav can even do work for them in their home. Again, all these, this is a hetir that's only been afforded to them because really over Yom Tov, Right? If not for the law that the regal suspends, they were in Shiva. And again, according to many Rishonim, there were certain laws that they were keeping. Furthermore, the Ein Rabbi Misaskenboi, we touched Misaskenboi, means that the public doesn't go to be Menachem Avelim during the week after Yom Tif. Why? Because Shekfar Misaskenboi Beregel. Because that's something that they did over Yom Tif. Now, just to point out whether this was recorded on the Chabad or camera or only on Zoom, so Danny pointed out 
And I just want to reiterate clearly that this is not exactly the way we behave nowadays. That's not our minig nowadays. But it's not just that people over Yomtev, as a nicety, would go over and offer them words of condolences. That if a person had someone, a relative, that was buried on Yomtev, people would, people would, would mamish go to the Menachem Avel. They would go to the house and they would be halachically Menachem Avel then. So that's why since people were already Menachem Avel, this, these, the immediate relatives for seven days, that's the case. So then during the next Shiva, so to say, no one is going to be Menachem Avel then. Now, by the way, the same thing is if the passing was during Cholamoyed. So the, you just have to make the you deduct. So in other words, if they, if they were four days in Yom Tev from the burial, okay, so then for the first three days, people will be Menachem Avel then. But in the subsequent days, they won't. And here we go. Now, the Braisa only gave one case. The case was there was a passing on Yom Tev. The Braisa writes explicitly that even though the Shiva will be uh, practiced after Yom Tev, but the Yom Tev will count towards the Shloishim. You begin counting down the Shloishim from the day of the burial. Clearly, to Yufta, Agish Lagan. Agish Lagan, Rabbi didn't know the Braisa. And indeed, Kiyasa Ravin. When he came from the Holy Land to Babel, he quoted in the name of Rebbe Yechanan, same thing, Afilu Kivaroi Beregel, the Shloishim is counted down during the Regel, and Vechein Oirele Rabbi Elazar, so Paskant Rabbi Elazar to his son Rabbi Pedas, Afilu Kivaroi Beregel, and here again, my friends, even though, even though I mean, even without the Tiyufta, it's a, this is a leniency, less Shloishim. Automatically, that's how we follow. Aside of the fact that he was Ogishlag. Okay. Now, Taner Abanan. Ki eim kfiya samita shloishi yomam koidem oregel. Look at the example the Braisa gives. The Braisa begins quoting the same sheet that we had in the last daf, sheet of the Mishnah, sheet on the Braisa's we had on daf Yutes, that when does Regal cancel only if there was three days of Shiva. Now, when we speak about Shiva, so there are things that we don't do. A person... Uh, you know, you, you, don't, you don't go to work. That's not, enough, that's not enough of practicing Shiva. That's a negative practice. As an example of something that we do, is they used to turn over the beds. Now, there are many other things that we do. People sit on a low chair. People take off their shoes. The reason why the Braise gives this as a mushal is because from all of the menhagim of positive things that people do, this is the most external to the person. When a person sits on the ground, that's avada, one practice of avelus. person sat low. Um, a per, the bed in the house was overturned. Even, I wasn't even there. The fact that one nihug of avelus was done three days prior, then is where we say, that is where the regal cancels it. In other words, and first of all, you have to have three days. Second of all, during those three days, you have to have, for the three days, nihug avelus. These are the words of Rabbi Eliezer, which is the sheet of our Mishnah. However, the Chacham and Moimim, which is how we paskin, no, same concept. There has to be a nihug of avelus. You know what a nihug of avelus nowadays would be? Sometimes there was a burial at of Erev Yantif. By the time the family comes home, it's Yantif. They tell them to take off their shoes, which is what we do right after the burial. They took off their shoes, ni'ilas asandal, that's a nihug avelus. They have to do something. Not only one day, even one moment in the day. Shot doesn't mean an hour. It means a, a period in the day. And now the Gemara says, this machloikas tanoim originates from Beishamayim Beishilol. Amar Abelazah berab shimen, hein hein divide Beishamay, hein hein divide Beishilol. Now we discovered it, that Beishamay are do oimrim, and that's Gavaldik Rabbi Eliezer Shamute. Right? The, that means also that Rabbi Yezid, as you'll see, the great Rabbi Yezid normally follows in the Shita of Beishamai, aside of it having other, another meaning that he was put into a ban. So now that we have a machlaikis, Amar Afuna, Amar Abchia, Bar Abba, Amar Abi Yechanan, or Amar Ilah, that Amar, let's go with the Bach, Amar Lei, Rabbi Yechanan, to Rabbi Bar Abba, and Rabbi Bar Abba told Rafuna. Okay, now Rava says, right, which is an anomaly. In other words, Rava doesn't follow that which we always quote Shmuel, halacha kedivrei hamekel. But but we kedivrei hamekel. It says in Gemara like this: Ravina, 
Ikla Lesura de Pros. I mean, Sura was the famous Sura. That was the headquarters of the Shiva of Rav. That's not the Sura. It's whenever you have to give another clarification. So there was another Sura by the Euphrates, and Avina traveled there. Amalei Rav Chaviv le Ravina. Hilcha Samai. Amalei, not like Shmua, not like Rava, but like we heard from, from Eretz Yisrael, like the rule of Shmuel. Amalei, Afilu Yamechad, Afilu Sha'achas. Says the Gemara. Yosef Rav Chiyabar Abba. And Rav Ami and Rabbi Yitzchak Nafcha, these three Amiroim were sitting akila on the porch, on the entrance of the home of Rabbi Yitzchak ben Olazar. These three Amiroim are sitting together, says the Gemara Nafik Milsa Mi Beinayu. The following halachic topic came up. Minayun la Vela Shivim. Answers the Gemara, Pasik and Amois, when it says, Vafakti Chagechem la Evil, even though it's a, a, a non-positive verse, like opposites. I'm turning one into the opposite, but it's amazing what Chazal do. But they're juxtaposed. They're juxtaposed. So we learn not from their dissimilarity. We learn from their similarity. By the way, one thing being on the other side of the coin of the other is a similarity in the opposite way. So what's the similarity? Just like Yom Tev Shiva, Af Avelu Shiva. Huh. Frek Toisvis, what are you talking about? Don't we have a biblical Yamtav of Shemoina? Of course we do. Right? Sukkah is followed by Shmini Atzeres. So why don't we have eight days? Answers Toisvis. No. Shmini Atzeres is Regal Bifne Atzmoi. Have you remember that? Psar Keshav. That's Gavaldik. I am reading inside Toysvis. One, two, three, the fourth Toysvis. Ma, I now, I state by Yaslo of Evil Shivas Yomim. Why do you have to go Krichin to Amos? You have a Pasuk in Chamisha Chum It says, the Gemara Le Matzila Suye. First of all, Toysvis answers because over there it was before the burial. So this is a extra legal Shiva. This is not usual. Nowadays there's no Shiva prior to the burial, there's a state of Aninus. With, with, uh, uh, theoretically with more Chamur laws or different laws, but not Shiva. However, Or you quoting the words of the Rambam, That's a very big klal, very big klal in Allah. Okay. And then Tresvus tells you that in Yerushalmi they found many psukim. Here in Bavli we have the Pasuk and Omis. Now let's go back. The, sec- the last narrow line, we're not done yet. So Toysvus explains why do we compare it to Shmini Atzeres? Make Shiva into eight. You know what? You know, we know what we say normally? Tafasta Meruba, loy Tafasta, right? Tafasta Meyuta, Tafasta. So I have a good cash on Tafasta Meyuta. There is one regal that's one day. Shavuiz, Frek the Gemara of Eim Atzeres, the Chad Yoyma. First wide line says the Gemara, yeah, yeah, good. Zog's good. You know the Zog's good? The Torah is juxtaposing Chag to Evil. How many days are Chag? Now that we said that Shmini Atzeres doesn't go together with, with, uh, with uh, the first seven days. So it's either seven days or one day. You have two options. You know what? By Avelos, you also have two options. There is an Avelos of seven. There is an Avelos of one. So now compare one. Use, use everything out. The Avelos of Shiva should go from the Yom Tov of Shiva. And then there is an Avelos of one, which comes from the Chag of one. And here we introduce to Amr Eish in the name of Rabbi Yehuda Nesiyah, Minayin L'Shmua Rechoika, a delayed report. It was very common then. How much delayed, we'll see in a moment. Delayed from delayed, the burial. You understand? Because Shiva begins by the burial. Or delayed from the passing. We'll see. Oh, if you heard at a certain point so far away, you only keep one day. And one day doesn't mean one day Shiva and then Shloishim. There's no Shloishim. There is no Shloishim. And no Haditel. This one day isn't even a full day, as we'll see soon. Because it says, Mamish, since it says, So we have this Hekish. Amazing. So again, there is called Shmua Kareva. Either you're there, or you found out immediately, or within a short amount of time. We'll see against 30 days. Then you have seven, then you have shloishim. So it works. You have shmor kareva, shmor achayka. They don't have the same amount of time. They are all compared to a chag. Perfect. So you heard it like five days late? 
So then you would keep a full seven days plus a full week. So if you hear it five days late, then you would keep from when you heard it, seven days, and shloishim from when you heard. However, there's one however, and that we don't have time for now. I th- it's going to be soon. I think it's at the end of Daf Chafalov. That if you heard it, let's say, within five days or within four days, and you came to your other siblings that are still sitting shiva, there's a havamina, we'll see, there's a svadam, that since you are finishing shiva with them, then you take a get to conclude it with them. Amazing. Within three days, after three days, the, el- the eldest brother, a lot of nuance to that. Let's go right it over here. Okay. Now, and the Ashkech and Atzer is the Ikra Chad Yema, Chag, Nikoda, third white line, Tanan Abanan. Let's speak about this, the Shmua Kareve, Shmua Rechaika. Shmua Kareve means a current, relatively current. You heard, you heard uh, Kareva to the moment of death, or to the moment of burial. So says the Braison, the Hegeshiva, and Shloishim. From, from the report. That's the point, Shuki. From the report means that it's going to come out that the mourners are not finishing at the same time. However, Shmuak Rechoika, once it's called already a delayed, faraway report, what's called Kareva, what's called Rechoika? Opinion number one, Rabbi Akiva. Kareva means within 30 days. Rechoika means after 30 days. Just to know, Lechoida 30 is included in Kareva. Not only is 30 included in Kareva, I want to say something like this, that the Rishonim speak out. What we learned yesterday or two days ago, that, that some Amoiroim held that the Chachamim didn't even argue with Abishol when it comes to the Shalashim. If they are good, we pass them like Abishol. In other words, even if you're going to hold that on the Shiva, you have to have a full Shiva, by the Shloishim, by the Shloishim, mix us a Yom Kekulay. Now, imagine, family, finish Shloishim, today is the 30th day. Because of the rule that mix us a Yom Kekulay, after Shachris, they finish Shloishim. But it's still within 30 days, it's still the 30th day. Now another relative, an immediate relative, found out, he can't say, since all of my siblings are out of the laws of Shloishim, it's called Rechaika, no. It's so only if this person heard it after 30 days. We're good? Because he start, it started seven days of Shiva right there. He started seven days of Shiva. He can't say it's called the Rechoika because my chevra, my family finished the Shloishim. They finished the Shloishim because Mitzvah Sayyam Kekula, you don't get to use it for this. Now, the Chachamim Oimrim, Acha Shmua Kareva, Acha Shmua Rechoika, they disagree with this whole concept. So I don't care when you heard, you were always Noyik, Shiva, and Shloishim. Okay, now again, what's normally you would say, ah, yachid verabim. So, Amar Rabba Bar Bar Khan, Amar Rabbi Yechren. That normally, kol makam shatam oitzi yachid mekel, verabim machmirim, halachik kerabim. Now, they were emphasizing not only yachid verabim, but kul and chumra. Guys, let's go now. Again, this is the whole question. If we're going to learn that Avelos is midoy raisa, as many to show him hold, at least for one day, so then, so then you would be machmir because it's a din doy raisa. So, it's like a double whammy. It's I'm adding that according to many of the Shainim. And it's a Rabbim. You would pass like the Rabbim. Chutz Mizu. Mizu doesn't mean this being the only exception. You know what Mizu means? Laws of mourning. Avelus. Ta- regarding this topic. Because Why? Because the Amar Shmuel. Halacha kedivrei hamekel be'evil. Says the Gemara. Let's go stories. To find out what, like, whom we pass like. Rab Hanina, Asi Le Shmua, the Avua, he found out that his father passed away. Right? Now, I just don't have a clarity whether his father lived in Beit Chozoi, which was far away from Rab Hanina, or Rab Hanina was from Beit Chozoi. Bottom line is, is Rab Hanina heard about his father's passing um, after, after 30 days. And also, Le Kamid Rab Chizda. Because he knew it's a machloek as Rabbi Kiva and the Chachamim. Again, Rabbi, uh, the Chachamim are machmer. The Chachamim are rabbin. What should I do? So Rabbi Chizda told him, Shmua Rechoika Einoi Neheges Elo Yoim Echod. Again, we pass him like Rabbi Kiva. And Nochel was for his father, and we're going to see, as the sugi will begin to un- be, be unpackaged even more, that in certain areas, we are more machmer father mother than any other relative. It doesn't matter. Avelus Mekel. Next, another story. Rab Nasan Bar Ami 
Asa le Shemua the Ime again mi bechay zai. Chayda the Shemua came from there. In other words, that the mother lived there. Stamet was during a time maybe that traveling was not safe. So until people came, it was like a known thing. Yeah, if something happened in bechay zai, by the time you found out, it was very late. And he now he went to Rava. Now this is a big chiddush. What's the big chiddush? What did we learn today regarding the first topic? That Rava was the machmer. Rava was the, if, if it's Rabba and Rabba, if it's Rava, right? However, Amalei, same thing. Hadei Amru, Shmua, Rechoika, Eino, Noheges, Elo, Yoim, Echad, Bilvad. Okay, very nice. Two stories. The Gemara has a question on this opinion. Eisvei, how can you say Shmua, Rechoika, is only Yom Echad? It says in Abraisa, Bamed Varam Amurim, indeed that what? That Shmua, Rechoika, is only one day you found out after 30 days. There's no Shloisha. It's just like one day of mourning. That's only Bechamisha Mesei Mitzvah. For the five people of, to whom or for whom you have a mitzvah to mourn, which is everyone, other father or their mother, as we'll see in Amad Beis. Avalal of Avalimai says, Shiva Ushloishim. In other words, if we, we, we are now presuming that the Machloikas between Rabbi Kiva and the Chachamim was only regarding the five. So I get it, since there is one sheet of Rabbi Kiva that's lenient, we can be Kedivrei HaMekel. But father and mother, that's the thing, L'chayra, everyone says. So he, t- he says, no, that this B'rais is also only Yechidahi. It's the opinion of one, minority opinion. And V'loi Svidolan Kavase. Now, when, if it would be quoted just an- uh, anonymously as it is, then you can't say Yechidah. But if you're going to find another b'raisa that's going to quote this sheet in the name of one Tana, then you can argue that all the other b'raisas, even though they're stam, it's only quoting this one opinion, and the others don't agree. The Tanya, Maisa umeis aviv shel rab tzadik beginzak. Here, and you know when rab beginzak heard of it, uh, uh, rab tzadik found out three years later. Halachically, it doesn't make a difference, but imagine, that was the world they lived in. Three years after his father passed away, after the Holocaust, that happened very often. There was, people found out many years later. They didn't know. There were some happy stories. People found out, Fakert, they're alive, but that's very rare. He found out three years later. Uba v'shoal. Here we have one of the cases, Elisha ben Avuya. Right, that's before. That's before. Recording, and uzekenim she'imoy. And va'amru, and they told him, nohoig shiva ushloishim. That's already enough of a proof. It's amazing. Even though we're quoting Uzekenim Shi'imoi. But the fact, you know, first taste, Yechidah doesn't mean one. All the elders agreed with that. That for father and mother, there's no such a concept of Shemur HaChaika. Doesn't matter. It's not a anonymous. It's not a Stam B'raisa. There is, there is Elisha Ben Avuya and the elders that were with him, which implies that the other elders did not agree with it. But let's keep on reading. Uchshameis Bidnoi Shel Rab Achiyo Bagoylom. I want you to know that this is not part of the Braisa, because actually the Gemara, for a moment, understands that the Rab Achiyah is Rab Chiyah. But we'll, we'll correct that. When the, when the son of Rab Achiyah, who lived in, 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 Go, in Babel, found a way, um, uh, passed away, Yashavah of Shivo Shloishim, even though obviously the case must be that what happened, that he found out after 30 days. It's not Father Mother. Not only, is it, not only is it not, yeah, correct, it's not father and mother. That means he paskin like whom? Like uh, the Chachamim. Don't forget, there is, there is a sheet on the Chachamim that Taka did not differentiate. We are saying that we paskin like the Kedivri HaMekel, but some people didn't. The problem will be, again, on Rab based on the presumption that this is Rab Any, how can that be? Rav, as we know. You know, remember when we had this? Danny, Psachim Davdalo Damadalov, the first Rashi. Rav, I mean, it's a Gemara, but Rashi explains Pasha, what happened. Was the son of the brother of Rabchia. Rav was a double, ne- double nephew. In other words, Rav's tate was the brother, half brother of Rabchia. He also, Rav also, Duhu, was the son of the sister of Rabchia. The brothers and sisters were not related with each other, but they were both related to Rabchia. And read the Rashi, the first Rashi and the Abdal of the he works it out. Now, where did Rav live? We know Rav lived in the Surah. Even though Rav was brought up in the Holy Land. But Rav would go visit Eretz Yisrael. 
Rabchia was in Eretz Yisrael. So during one of these travels, Ki Salik Lohasim, when Rav went up, he met his uncle, Amale. So his uncle asked his nephew, Abba Kayim. Abba Kayim means, remember his name, Ivo, right? I think it was Ivo. Is your father alive? Which means, is my brother alive? And Davchaf Amid Beis, and this is a very big klal, we should never be the ones, never always has exceptions. Sometimes you, you don't have an option to share bad news. And Rav didn't want to say that he passed away. He didn't want to give him bad news. It was many years after. So all, the way Rav responded was, why are you asking me about my father? What, do you know what's happening with my mother? My mother's your sister. Like you're only asking about the father. What, why don't you ask if my mother is alive? That's a smart way of giving the info without saying explicitly. And now he got nervous. So he already understood that the, his brother is not alive. But the fact that Rav even said, is my mother alive? What did we learn also? That you have to be careful. Rav wouldn't have said it only because the fact was she also was no longer alive. So Amr'alei, so, so Rav Chia jumps and he says, Oy, Gavalt, is your mother alive? Is my sister alive? To which he responds, what, is my father alive? Why are you asking me about my mother? Why didn't you ask me about my father? Very sad. So Bekitza, Rav Chia found out this is a, a rechaika. This is for sure after 30 days, both a brother and a sister passed away. So Amar lay l'shamoi. Amar Abchia told his helper, chaloitz limen alay, like we just mentioned. That's a practice that we do nowadays. We take off our leather shoes. Help me take off my leather shoes. Now, when a person is in mourning, one of the dinam of mourning is there's an isur of rechitza, and he told him right away, v'hoylach acherei keila lebeis amerchets, and help me walk my clothing to the bathhouse. So when I take a bath, I should have fresh clothing. No, that's what, what, he did it for a purpose. He made that statement, as the Gemara says from here, we know three dinim. Din number one is avel asr bin ina sasanel. Yeah, if, not, if he wouldn't, even it was, it was after 30 days, if there would be no dinim available, why would he take off his shoes? Shema mino, shmo arachoyke enon hegas elu yoyim echad. And not only yoyim echad, but shema mino, mix as a yoyim kekuloi. So what I said about Shabbos, I take back. It doesn't work. I said Shabbos, when it's only a one-day halacha, you can't say, Miksa Sayyim Kekuloi. You're asking, here it's only one day. But maybe it's an abbreviated Shiva. Since it's a Shiva only for one day, okay, right. Now, so what the point is, is that how can we quote a story that Rab Achia, who found out that his son passed away, Rahman al he sat Shiva and Shloishim, here we see that Shmua, that Rab Chia only kept for his, fa- for his brother and his sister, he only kept Miksa Sayyim. So the Gemara says, ah, oh, you're confusing two different Amirayim. Rab Chia Lechud and Rebi Achia Lechud. Okay. Chal Bavli Yerushalmi, right? Many Amirayim, when you read their names in Yerushalmi, there's a letter up, a letter down, it's all the same, not in our case. Om Rabbi Yesi Baravin. Shoma Shmua Kiroiva Boregel. Listen to this, listen to this. A person hears within 30 days, including the 30th day, that a relative passed away. But what did we begin the today's share? Behem Shakti yesterday, that on the regal, the regal doesn't cancel it, you didn't even begin Shiva, but it suspends it. To when? To after Yom Tiv. After Yom Tiv is after 30 days. What a great question. So since de facto, the person will only begin the Shiva after 30 days, could you argue, oh, it's after 30 days, and therefore, and therefore only one day. What's the din, says Rabbi Yoisi Baravin? That what? That oil aloy, Yom Tev, is included in the calculating of the 30 days. And therefore, even again, even according to the Rishonim, that there are certain Nihuge Avelos that have to be done on Regal, you're not called a novel. You really didn't begin. Even though the Achedim fulfilled their Nicham Avelum. You did not begin. You did not begin? This is Lakula. Therefore, you're, you are starting Avelos after Yom Tev. After Yom Tev, it's already the Choyka. That's a big Kula. Tana Rab Ada from Kesari, in front of Rabbi Yechlin. He taught him the following b'raisa that he heard. That Shoma Shmua Kareva B'Shabes. Wow. Shabbos is not included in the Shiva. 
Shabbos doesn't suspend anything. Nevertheless, even over here, since Bifahad Esya, there's no Avelus in Shabbos. Here also, you can only count from Matzei Shabbos. If Matzei Shabbos is already after 30 days, also, even here, Gavaldik, Enoi Noyeg Elo Yoim Echad. Wow. New question. Now, Chavre, um, Kiriya is like a standalone din. Not only is Kriya not part of Avelos, but actually Kriya is done before a person is a novel. It used to be Kriya was done by the passing. It used to be done that those who were present during the passing tore Kriya. And from Mekama Sibois, it became common practice that Kriya is done before the burial, during the burial, before Avelos. So let's now figure out what we do with Kriya. In other words, when you have a Shmua, what are you telling me? That there's only one day of mourning. Maybe there's not, there's not, there's not even Shloishim. So do you have to do Kriya? Rab Mani says, Einoi Koireya. Rab Hanina says, Yes, Koireya. Amalei Rab Mani le Rab Hanina, Bishlam le Didi, that I say, Einoi Koireya. Hainu de lo Ika, Avelu Shiva. In other words, he's saying that Kriya can only be fulfilled when there is the din of seven days. But Ela Ladidach, that you hold that even by Yeshua Rechaika, Koireya, Frechter, Kriya, Beloi, Shiva, Mi Iker. Now the Gemara, instead of answering the question, is going to ask the questionnaire. Veloi? What, what do you mean? You, you, you're, you're, the premise is so wrong, you shouldn't have even said it. I'll prove to you that Kriya is not intimately linked with seven days. Vehatanya. Or the other version will be that Vetani Isi, because Isi avoided Abzedas and Amoira. The shot is that Isi had the following Braisa. We're going to quote a Braisa. Or the Omri law that the brother of Rabzeda taught the following Braisa in front of Rabzeda. That what? Says in a Braisa, Misha ein loy. Chaluk likroya. If a person doesn't have a garment to tear, not that people go around without garments. That means if someone is wearing a borrowed garment, I'm not allowed to be mazik, my, something that doesn't belong to me. No, it's when the person heard that there is a passing, he did not have a garment to tear, his garment. So if Venus Damon Loi Shiva, if he got his own garments back during the Shiva, not during the burial, any time during Shiva, then Kaidea. So that, that's the beginning. By the way, this sounds great. This sounds clearly that when you don't have Shiva, right, you don't do Kriya. But as he's quoting this Braisa, Rabzeda made a correction. Rabzeda says, yeah, yeah, I went to Cheder and I already learned this Braisa, but there's another shtickle that changes everything. Only Rabzeda Basrein, he says, Only for the five of the seven that we'll enumerate soon. Aval Allah Vavalimai. No matter when you found out, even though you, no matter, no matter when you got your own garments, even after Shiva, you have to tear. Now hold on. You understand? So, so the premise, he's asking, if there's no Shiva, how can there be Kriya? Here you have a Braisa. I, I, I know that the Braisa is only speaking about Ava It doesn't matter. But you see the concept that Kriya doesn't have to be linked to Shiva. So the Gemara answers, no, 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 that, that doesn't prove anything. And this really will be the base of the next Sogia. Chavre, as we'll see in a moment, now concerning Kriya and soon regarding Avelos. Not to confuse, there are halachos of Avelos that I'm of to keep. And then as we will see, there are certain times that people will practice the laws of Avelos, not because they are Avelim, but to give honor. We are accepting the kasha that Kriya is connected to Shiva. The fact that you found one place in the Gansu Torah Shabal Peps, Abraisa, that only Rabzeda remembered, that for the father and the mother you will rip your garments after Shiva, that's not the halacha of Kriya. That's cool, since this person didn't do Kriya for his father or his mother, not Hilchai's Kriya, but do Kriya. To give them more honor, it's a way you're machabed them. Interesting concept. So remember this. So there's halachas that I'm a choyev, and then there's certain times that I'll do the same deed. But it's not mitzad 
I'm mechuyev to do it, but that's the way I'm going to show covet. Here, the, the, okay, so that, close, that closes the question. In other words, you don't find Hilchais Kriya when there's no Shiva. Nekuda. And now, let's begin. Tanara Banan. Who are the people for whom we mourn? So I keep on quoting, by the way, I keep on getting the Seder wrong. The Seder, you begin with your spouse, as we tell you, which is spouse, all right, if we're speaking to a man, for wife, father, mother, son and daughter, brother, sister. But this is not as simple as it sounds because when it comes to brother and sister, as we have in many other areas in halacha, you have to clarify. Obviously, if it's brother, both paternally and maternally, there's nothing to talk about. But we'll see that biblical mourning is for paternal. Biblic, and even if the sister is paternally a sister from the Zalbatate, if she's already married, biblically you don't have to mourn for her. So it's more midrabanan you do. Midrabanan even for maternal. Let's go read it inside. Ton Rabbanan. Kol ha'amur beparshas koyhanan. In Parshas Emoi, where the trade is speaking, us, speaking to us about the unique Kedusha of Kaihanim, which is also expressed by the fact that they are not allowed to contaminate themselves to a corpse unless it's a mes mitzvah. But, there is, but then the trader speaks out the seven people to whom a coin is allowed to, and therefore there's a mitzvah. There's a mitzvah to be uh, occupied in the burial of one's relatives. So whoever... The one, whoever are the people, Shekoyen Metamolahen, these are clear psukim, even though the Torah uses the word She'eroi, and She'eroi is a, a word that we have to know what Rashi says. She'eroi means wife. Okay. That Avel Mesabal Alehem, and let's go through the Seder. Ishtoi, and by the way, Ishtoi doesn't mean only wife. You know, we're speaking to men, I, I, husband also. Okay. Avel Ve'imoi. Let me touch Echov, paternal. Just add that word in here. If not, you'll get tripped up in a moment. Va'achoisoi, not only does she have to be your paternal, means you can have a maternal sister, you're not mechoyev to mourn, midoy raisa. Even if it's a paternal sister, not married. And benoy ubitoy. Now, like it's amazing this, just to be medayik and the seder. Medayik and the seder, I'm just saying that the, it's not who came on the scene first. Like, why is son and daughter after brother and sister? You can say chronologically, a person has siblings normally before they have a son and a daughter. Not always, but the, your wife came on the scene later. I said, it's interesting. You're going to say closest? So you're saying that a person is closer to the, the least closest, Beno Well, why do you have to go first? If you don't go first, you can get a job. Okay, so you have to see also, you have to see the Seder Apasik. But the question is also on the Seder in the Chumash. Okay, just to be, huh? It's like, wife is like your other half. Americana Yidin. Okay, Seder, good. I'm not, uh, I'm not debating with you. I'm being recorded. Yeah. All I'm asking is, is that why, stop, why do son and daughter come after brother and sister? And we will actually see soon in the Gemara Svaris, Shittas, in the Rishonim, that for parents, and God forbid, son and daughter, there might be more, more Chumras. More than anyone else. Uh, yes? Oh. No, 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 no. First of all, love, 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 big love, Dafka. Why are they older? You have many ones that are younger. And don't say Vahadarta Pene Zokin if you can add, if it's the eldest brother, Kabit Ace, Esla Rabbis, Ochev Hagodl, that you can say. Anyways, good. Now, that's Midirai. So, Isifu Aleyem, the Chachamim added. It's good to be most, you know, it's good. Machayim. A Machayim, not to God forbid be in this position, but to learn about it, learning Torah. That the added, Ochev means even a maternal, even only a maternal brother. Sister, what are we adding? The achoisoi hapsula me'imoi. Even a virgin sister, if it's only maternal, again, biblically, you don't have to mourn. Medarabana, you have to mourn. And the sister who's married, bein ma'aviv, bein me'imoi, which both of these, midoi raisa, there's no heel for mourning, midarabana, you have to mourn. Right, at kan we're good. At least, at least we're not getting confused because people know, ah, the seven, we're still up to seven. Listen to these shocking words. We're going to add many more people. We'll see what the halach is. Says the Rabbi Kiva, says the Braiso, 
just like one has to mourn for the above seven, kach misabel al shniyim shalohem. Wow, shniyim, this is a good intro to Yevamis, calls secondary relations. What, what do I mean by secondary? Let's go like this. Let's go to uh, Reuven. So Reuven has to sit shiva, has to mourn, by the passing of Yaakov. Yaakov is the immediate relative of Reuven. What happens if Yaakov is alive? Or not? But Yitzchak passes away. Says Rabbi Kiva that any one of the immediate relatives of any of Reuven's immediate relatives, Midrabanon, Reuven has to sit shiva for. Has to be Mesabel. Regardless of whether Yaakov is alive or not. Regardless of whether Yaakov is alive or not. Yechap? Now guys, we don't practice. That adds so much. That adds so much. In other words, anyone, but the seven immediate relatives, the immediate of the immediate, you also have to mourn for. That's called Shneem. These are the words of Rabbi Kiva. Rabbi Shimon ben Allah Zeroimer, I agree that sometimes Midrabanan, you add the immediate of the immediate, but only Ella al ben benoiv al avi aviv. See here, not, not brother or sister, not even wife. Now, it doesn't mean um, only father of father, it can mean mother of mother or mother of father. It means going up and going down. Going up and going down. Midrabanan. But you're mechuyev, you're mechuyev to my... Nah, what? Just one level, right? Just one level. Yeah. Like a grandfather or a grandson. Grandmother, granddaughter. Now the chachamim are not Rabbi Kiva. The chachamim are kol she misabel alav. Misabel imoy. That means, again, let's go a wife. That if, if a person has to mourn for his wife, when she's in mourning, if she's in mourning, you have to mourn. It mamish sounds like Rabbi Kiva, but here's the key word. He says, misabel imoy. What does imoy mean? Imoy means you only have to practice mourning when you are in their presence, which means, like we mentioned before, the, the last topic in the sugya, like kriya l'chavoyd. You're not mochoyev, but the way you show them covered, any one of one's seven close relatives, is that if they are mourning, when you are with them, you mourn with them. How much do you have to do? Let's leave it according to the Roshanim, everything. Take off your shoes, you sit on a low stool. We don't do this. Uh, we'll get there in a moment. That would exclude if they're a Shmuel Rechoka or if they already passed away? Everything. If when you are with them. Now, the I, the Chachamim sounds like Tanakama, Tanakama is Rabbi Kiva. Says the Gemara, no, no, no. Ika benayi, the Chachamim say the words Imoy. Imi means according to the Chachamim only when they are in your house. Actually, there's a whole Machlekes in the Shonim in the house or in the room. Many people say Imoy Babayas means in front of you. A story just to clarify. Likewise, Rafuna told Rabba his son, both of them were, had a spouse that was sitting Shiva. So they told him, Ba'apa, while you are in her presence, Ba'apa means when you are in her face, then Nehoig Avelusa. Guys, these words are very important. Not that you're mechuyev to mourn. You should behave like a mourner. But beloy apa, when you are not in her presence, loy tinoig avelusam. In other words, this is called avelus out of respect. Say covet means respect, and not because you're obligated. Why is that so important? Who cares? If midrabanan, you have to respect her, I'll tell you who cares. And that's how it evolved to what we do today. If Reuven is mechuyev, to do the laws of mourning, no one can free him from it. But if Reuven, who married Rachel, Rachel lost her father. So Reuven, Ba'apa, Ba'apa has to be Noyeg Avelos. What happens if Rachel tells her husband, you're doing it for my covet, ich bin Moichel the covet. I don't need for you to be Machabed me by sitting, by taking off your shoes. She, she has the right to be Moichel on her covet. Not only does she have the right to be meichel on a cover, but that's how it evolved that we presume a halachic presumption that no one wants for their close relatives to join them in the morning on this level. They're meichel, not because they said so. Halacha says now we make that presumption.
That's why. That's how it evolved. Because we don't pass in like Rebbe Akiva. We pass in, we, we pass in like the Chachamim. Not because Chachamim is the Rama, but because it's, we're Noig uh, Kula. It's only Nihug. By Nihug Avelos, it's Shaykh to be Moichel. It, when it's not Nihug, let's say there's a father. Father is about to pass away. He tells his sons, Ich bin Moichel de Shiva. Can't do that. It's not his to be Moichel. If a child who's Mechoyev to mourn, has to mourn. If it's only to give them cover, then they can be Moichel. Gavaldik. Okay, says the Gemara story. Marukva, Shachiv, Lei, Bar, Chamua. The son of his father-in-law, or in, in English, his brother-in-law, right, passed away. A brother-in-law meaning his wife's brother. Which means, Chavir, that his wife was sitting Shiva. Now, the wife is not sitting Shiva for her father. That was the whole, the, the Shniyam. The wife is sitting Shiva for her brother. So, Savar Lemesov Alei Shiva Ushleishim. He felt initially, if he heard, he says that maybe we, I have to, Mamish, join her for the whole thing, for Shiva and for Shleishim. So, all Rav Huna Ligabei, and he sees him sitting down in the, in the morning, no shoes, sitting on the ground. So, Ashkechei and Amalei, so Rav Huna tells Marukva, Tzudani Yasa Bo Yisle Mechal. What, you want to get the uh, Sudas Havra? Sudas Havra is a halacha that is done nowadays, which is that after the burial, it's very important that the first Suda, that's the way we Paskin, others held all of the meals of that day, should Dafka not be bought from the pocket of the Avelim, it should be bought by others. The word Havra is from Brius, and Nachler is Minhagim, it's a very simple meal. It's mamish the way we eat uh, before our Tishabov. It's bread and eggs. Huh? Ash too. And we don't have no ashes before the Churban Habayis, but not, uh, you know, since we are not the biggest Sadiqim, so we have to make the Churban Habayis more uh, close to us, so we add the ash. When a person, Rahman al Islam, just came back from a burial, it's good and bitter. I'm saying it's a, it's a yeah. Okay, so, so what you want, in other words, you don't have to mourn, what you want to have those eggs, Bissesh Mechoyev. First of all, you're not Mechoyev. And it's only a kavod. And even the kavod, it's only if she is sitting shiva for her father and her mother. Only if it's for your father-in-law and mother-in-law. Herst, again, a third time today that we differentiate between father and mother and everyone else. And halacha does differentiate, not over here. Again, we said that nowadays no one does any kavod. But uh, uh, father and mother, you have dinam of avelus for 12 months. For everyone else, all of the dinam of avelus ends after shloishim. Okay, right. The Tanya Misha Meis Chava Veicham If someone's father-in-law or mother-in-law, God forbid, passed away, so first of all, in the Rishoy Lachav Esishtei, a man then cannot tell his wife that you should put on your eye makeup and put on your poisekas, your rouge. Why? Why? Because not only is she mourning. I got a few smiles here. I don't know why, but Ella, he has to mourn with her. What do you mean? She should Chayfa Mitasa. He has to overturn his beds. He has to be Noyeg Avelus. Again, the words are Noyeg. It's the, it's the more lenient, but Hitaka has to be noyik. The chain, he shemes chami or chamoisav. She lost her father-in-law or her mother-in-law. No, it's his father, right? So ein rasha lias kechelos lias pesekas. When a person is in mourning, one of the denim of mourning is you can't put on makeup. So she cannot put on makeup. Why? Because that's called shniim. Her immediate relative, her husband, is sitting shiva for his father or mother. Ela koyfa mitosin and exavelus. Okay, so that's good. So uh, again, the proof from this Braisa, my friends, is that since the example that the Braisa gave was only where there was father and mother, so therefore all of that is why Marukva was told, your wife is sitting Shiva for her brother. There's no din of Kavoy Dishtoi. V'tanya idach, afa pisha amru ein rishoy locha v'sishtoi liya iskri chalas liya spesekes, as we learned above, but the emes amru, moizegas leha kois. She continues to do the um, to do to fulfill her obligations of a spouse to uh, fill them to to dilute uh, the cup now this is a problem you know what matzas mit matzas mita means she makes the bed if guys if the man is mechuyev to do kfiya samita if he has to overturn his bed it's not shaykh to do matzas loimita so that's a problem same thing with Rechitza. If a man, here you can argue he can wash it, not the apple, but the bed, there's no bed. So, let's go to the bed. Answers the Gemara, 
that you must say that Khan, the first Bryce is Bukhave Vikhamoisai. That is where she cannot make his bed. You know why? Because since she is mourning for her father or for her mother, he has to overturn his bed. There is no bed for her to make. Khan is when she is mourning for her other five relatives, including the case of Maruk, for her brother. Shmami no, beautiful. Tanya nami hachi. Says the Gemara story, Ameymar lost a grandson, means Ameymar's son lost a son. What happened? Now we're learning a new, a new din. Because Chavre de Braisa that we introduced about the concept of Shniim by Avelus, the Braisa was speaking about Avelus. We just learned now about Kriya. Kriya is Lav Dafka connected to Avelus. At Kedekach, the Machlekes that we had above. So here, my same question, does, this, does one have to rear, rip, rent, rent, kriya for the shniyam? What did Ameymer do? Kora ilove. Yes, Ameymer felt that since his son has to rip kriya, he has to rip kriya. But what happened? He, became, he then discovered that he's not mukhoyev to rip kriya. He only does kriya, lechvoid, his son. You only do that in the presence of the sun. So he realized that his first kriya was not good. It's amazing how when he found out a kula, it brought upon him a chumra. In other words, the fact that you only have to be noyig avelos ba'apa, that sounds like a leniency. In our case, it was a chumra because the kriya that he did wasn't good enough. The second to last line. So when the sun came, kara ba'ape. And that's the Toysvis over here. Look inside the last Toysvis. Again, Toysvis asked, why the Tema? He already, he already did Kriya. So the Gemara says, yes, the Ashmuin and the No, he, in other words, he wanted to show his son saw that his garment is rent, but he wanted to make it clear that this whole Shniim is not like Rabbi Kiva, it's only like the Chachamim, it's a Nihuk. But hold on, you know what happened? When he rent his garments the second time, he was sitting. There's another din. Kriya has to be done standing. Itkar, he realized that he was Meyushav, and Meyushav doesn't go on the first. I don't even care if he was standing by the first. He was sitting by the second. Now we're opening up the next topic. So what happened was, come, Karam Umad. He stood up and he rent for the third time. And how do you know that Kriya has to be Umad? Omalei, Rav Ashila, Meymar. You, you tore the third. I got the second, but what's the third? Kriya the Mu'umad Minalan. So he says that from Eov, when it says that when Eov found out Nebuch, that his children passed away. So it says, Vayakam Eov Vayikras Me'iloi. He stood up and he, and he tore his coat. Dafchaf Aleph. So the Gemara says, what, standing up is a raya that you have to do at Mu'umad when it says, Elam Atom. And Parshas Kiseitse, that part of the uh, Chalitza is, it says, Va'amad, Va'amad, that the man, the brother-in-law, stands up, right? Va'amad. And he says, he will arise and say, Lechafatzti, Lechachta, etc. So, Hachinami, that since the trader uses the words Va'amad, Va'amad, it's, it's Ma'akev, like by Kriya. It's not true. Va'hatanya ben Yoishiv, ben Oimid, ben Muta. I don't care in what position the husband is in during the chalitz, it's valid. So the Gemara gives a Gavaldic answer. Armale over there in Parshas, Kiseitse, right? It doesn't say Vayamoid, Vayoimer. It doesn't say he will arise. No, it says Vaamad Vaamad. He, he um, Vayamoid means he should arise. If the trader says he should get up, then you have a good deal. Doesn't say that. What does it say? V'omad. And he will, he will arise, says, explains the Gemara. That's just a matter of speech. Here, when the trader is recording a one-time event, a one-time event, why would the trader record that Eov stood up Unless the trader is trying to tell you that you have to stand up for Vayikra. You understand? So that's a Gavaldika rule. A one-time event, skip a detail that's not essential. Chalitza is not about a story, it's telling you a din. 
if it's telling you a din, then if the trader would have meant to teach you that you must do chalitza standing, it would have said vayamoid, which means he should arise. If you take out the word he should, then it's just a matter of speaking. Well, we need the word ba'amad at all by chalitza. It's a matter of speech. That means not necessarily. Well. Not necessarily that he has to stand. No, it's the way people do it when they're standing. That's the way normally it's done. There has to be an interaction, and she has to, with all, with all of the details that we'll learn in Sanhedrin, in, in Yavamas about, about Chalitza Chaver, we'll stop over here to be continued more, Minayan, the, the source of Kriyam.